Ventricular contraction is at first isovolumetric. This means that ventricular blood volume and muscle cell length do not change. Contraction causes ventricular pressure to rise above atrial pressure, forcing the AV valves shut. With the valves closed, the continuing contraction increases ventricular pressure. Ventricular ejection takes place when ventricular pressure rises above arterial pressure and the semilunar valves open. The valves stay open for about a quarter second. As blood is ejected into the arteries, ventricular volume decreases. Ventricles begin to repolarize and relax, ventricular pressure decreases, and contraction ends. Repolarization of the ventricular muscle cells initiates isovolumetric relaxation. As the ventricles relax, pressure in the ventricles drops. Semilunar valves close, preventing backflow. The closure produces a dichrotic wave on the aortic pressure curve. With both semilunar and AV valves closed, blood volume does not change. This isovolumetric relaxation sees pressure drop quickly. Ventricular filling occurs as all four chambers of the heart are relaxed and the AV valves open. As the valves open, the ventricles begin filling with blood. In about two-tenths of a second, blood that has been building up in the atria rushes in to fill the ventricles. Atrial depolarization triggers atrial contraction, forcing a small amount of extra blood into the ventricles. And a new cardiac cycle begins.